Hi, I'm Carolee Fielding. At Color Conference 2020, I was involved in something a little bit fun. I got to be the chauffeur for a handful of our key team here at Hillsong Church. We mounted cameras in the car and let the conversation roll. Join me as I drive two of the Douglas brothers, Tyler from Hillsong Young and Free and JD from Hillsong United. These guys have grown up in Hillsong Church and attended Color Conference. Yep, that's right. These men have been to many women's conferences. So stay with me as they share some of their journey, both funny and insightful. Tell me, how many colors have you been to? Me personally? Yeah. Well, okay, so I, I think like, I want to say 24 because I've been a part of this church since I was born and I'm 24 this year. But there was probably a good 12 that I missed when right. I was in high school. So maybe <laughs> let's have a safe at least 10. I'll say at least 10. Okay, but there's something special about this colour. Yes, there which is. Which maybe some of our online viewers don't know. Yes, this is my first ever coloured as a married man. Hey! Yes, which is super exciting. So your wife's going to colour. Yes, my wife is going to colour. She's volunteering across the whole week. She's um, going to be like service producing and show calling behind the scenes kind of stuff, which she is absolutely gifted and anointed at. So it's our first colour together as a married couple. So tell me. Yeah? You've been married for... Oh, two and a half months. <laughs> so, nine weeks. I know everything and there is to know. what have you learned really? about women in the last nine weeks? Um, that they're always right. Hey! They are always right. You're not and, far off. Yep. And that my wife is the best human being ever. And she's very gracious and kind. And then That's I not what you said to me <laughs> in the car on the way in here. JD! <laughs> I forgot, I forgot, we forgot he was in here. You. I'm here, guys. Oh, my I'm goodness. just loving it. Welcome. Tyler's you know, been married for nine weeks. I'm just... <laughs> You're soaking notes, in the like expertise. I do, I do want to now that JD is actually in the I car. Do, I've got he... you, listen, I've only been married for 12 years, <laughs> okay. so it's not that much. But yeah. you realise that, yeah, you uh, the more you're married, the more you actually don't know. <laughs> yes, very true. I guess <laughs> so that's I'm, I love answer. that you're in that stage that you know everything about marriage. So it's great, man. So <laughs> yeah. keep going. Oh, well, well, no, I was just going to... I was sure we're all taking notes. <laughs> I was right just going to say that if it wasn't for JD, I actually yeah. wouldn't have gotten married because he was the legal... It's called the celebrant, right? Yes, I married them. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. So, so no, there you go. Man, Do you feel responsible then for um, like the health of their marriage then? Yeah, I don't think anyone can take responsibility for that. I don't think there's a... No. <laughs> I do it as an older brother. Yeah. I'm just marrying them, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm pumped. Okay, so you two have grown up in this environment where there has always been a women's conference, and not just any women's conference, mm. but like the women's conference. I'm allowed to say that because... I'm hosting this thing. <laughs> this is yours. The Women's Conference. Also, that is an amazing view. I, we're not travelling in a bad city, are we? No, not at all. Okay, but like I was saying, you guys have been around for a while, mm -hmm. and you've been a part of this environment where like women are esteemed. Yeah. And women are um, like in leadership, and now JD, you've got girls of your own. Like, what does that mean to you? What kind of, like, what is that? Because that's not the reality for everybody um, in church. Either. Yeah, totally. I think we have been blessed, lucky, both, whatever you want to call it. To, <laughs> like, I've grown up, as Tyler has as well, I've yep. been in Hillsong Church our whole lives. And even just watching the journey of when colour started and even, you know, as the sisterhood meets on Thursday mornings, being a part of both of that kind of just being able to be a worship leader, I've been to sneak, I've like, well, I didn't sneak in, I was... You were welcomed in. Yeah, I was welcomed <laughs> in. Open arms. And so I've been, to, I've been to most of the colours and yeah, wow. actually been able to, you know, lead worship and be a part of it all. And I always tell everyone, I actually get, I reckon I get so much out of it as well. How cool. But yeah, being able to um, benefit from having my wife be in this environment, be in the atmosphere, um, I'm grateful for it and yeah. then also yeah I've got three kids two uh, little girls and the best kids the fact that they are already they already get excited about colour and you know yeah. my oldest is only 10 but she is like all about it already and I just I know what the heart of colour is about in the sisterhood and the fact that they are able to be a part of this is something that I'm like as a dad and as a husband it's just incredible what do you think it is like you're talking about that message that message of value of color what do you want them to catch when they're in the room yeah well I think the purpose that they have that God has for them yeah. but it's not just this yeah God's created you and you're a woman of God but also he's 
created you for a purpose and for a reason. I think what I love about the environment of colour is that that purpose gets encouraged yeah. and there's people that I'm sure that maybe are in one of those seasons where they might feel a bit discouraged or even lost or question totally. that call of God or that purpose. And I think it's the kind of environment that wherever you are on that journey that you'll be inspired and encouraged, not just hyped up but actually like commissioned and equipped yeah. to leave colour and actually do what God's called you to do and so I think that's why it's so powerful and I love it. Okay, so you've been in the room though yeah, with thousands of women, like we're talking at our conference this year, I believe, oh, don't run to see this night. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I was going to say gonna, gonna, yeah, you, you probably should have in that instance because yeah, I nearly hit somebody, but <laughs> don't worry about it, we're fine. Um, you've been in the room where there's been, like this year we'll have, I think it's about 14 and a half thousand women My at our conference. Have you ever had any awkward moments where you're like, I shouldn't be here? Oh, you, do, you how definitely much, how have. How much time do we Come have? Come on, yeah. you got to tell us a story. JD's got a really good one. I don't know. Tell me. Yeah. I don't know it. All right, well, one year, <laughs> it was during a breast cancer awareness week. That's where my story was going to stem from as well. <laughs> okay. And I was leading worship. And Which is an the, important topic. Yeah, totally. Yep. Important topic and amazing. Yes. And I love that we focus on... Totally, we Every October, it. we yes. focus on it. And that, mine was last October. Love but, that, okay. And anyway, we just finished worship and Bobby gets on stage and is kind of mentioning that it was in our one of our local sisterhood gatherings on yeah. Thursday morning. And Bobby was like, hey, they're doing this big bra mural down on Bondi Beach just to kind of bring awareness and make a statement. And she's like, we're going to be a part of it. And we'll, so what she, and she's very clear. She's like, what I want you to do is to go home and get a bra that you don't wear anymore, but <laughs> make sure it's clean. And, you know, like not just, she didn't want anyone just to just throw it, bra. you know. Yeah. So she was really clear, like, go home. And if you get it back by this afternoon, we'll take them all down. We'll write a little love from the sisterhood on it. So people Perfect. see it. Just in, I'm like, great idea. She just couldn't have been more clear that it was just... Go, go home, home, get a clean bra that you know you can do without. And all of a sudden, as she's giving this instruction and direction about what we're doing, I'm already like, okay, we're talking about bras. I'm kind of <laughs> not quite already. sure where to look. And then all of a sudden, you just I heard someone go, here, Bobby. And a bra just, boom, lands at my feet. And a woman has just Stop. taken her bra off in the meeting oh and my. thrown the it's bra a good, on stage. It's a good story. And it started a chain reaction. <laughs> oh, you know, no. there was bras getting thrown on stage. How have I not heard this story? And I remember story? this thing came, was on the front row. I think she was maybe getting ready to speak. And she just looked at me and she's like, lock eyes, lock eyes. So I'm looking at her, but that was even too much. So I just had to look at my shoes. And bras were landing around me. And um, yeah, let's just say. That was... is amazing. That's definitely my favorite sister story. I mean, that, that, I'm glad that we've got that on film. That is an epic sisterhood <laughs> story. Okay, we're going to play a little game. Oh, gosh. Yes. The first one to name all cities that colour has ever been held in. So, um, like, not where it's been held this no, year, but just in the history. No, not where it's been held this year. In history, there are... Let me just do a quick math in my head. I was going to say, do you know the answer? Okay. Yeah, there's seven. I don't have, like, a prize in mind. Do That's you have okay. one? No, I, I, I've yeah, got bragging an idea. Rights. Whoever doesn't get it has to walk the rest of the way home. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if I happen to not get it, we'll have a fight. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like it. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's seven cities. So cities, not necessarily countries. Cities. Well, no, city. yeah, go the city. Let's make it harder. Go the city. Okay. Who want, I mean, I can, Seven cities. I, I think I can name them all okay. right now. Oh, can you? Oh, go. Go. Okay, so we've obviously got Sydney. Yeah. That's one of seven. Yeah. Then we head over to Cape Town. Yeah. Then we head over to London. Yeah. And then we head over to Kiev. Uh huh. Then we, three more. Then we have definitely done America, so LA. Yeah. And we've done New York. Uh huh. So then there's one more, and I'm going to say there's two that more one. That I can, if we're talking about cities. And then Phoenix and Moscow. <gasps> Have we done a Moscow conference? Guess who's walking? Tyler Douglas. <laughs> I think he's wrong though. Wait a minute. I think he's wrong. Yeah, I reckon we've done We're Moscow. Doing it this year, aren't Have we? we done Colour Moscow? I don't know, but no, Phoenix yeah. was definitely one. Phoenix is right. So that I'm was in. Like so seven. Tyler's, Tyler is. Um, 
I'm I'm speaking in. He wasn't going to get Phoenix. Oh. I wasn't going to get Phoenix. So is this where I yeah. get out? Yeah. Okay. You've... <laughs> hey, it's been, good they, to it's have it's been you. so good to be here. Yeah, enjoy. This is what everyday life like with him looks like. Eight degrees today, but enjoy. Should be so much fun, love you guys. <laughs> See you. Yes. Okay, we've got life. one more game. Okay. Okay, here's the game. The best thing is I don't think Tyler knows where you live. Where I live. So I mean, that's it's good. perfect. Let's not tell him. There's no worries. He'll find his way to come yeah. anyways. Um, here's the game. The theme of this year's conference. I'm going to give you the word and you're going to... It's like word association, right? right? So if I say like fly, what are you going to say? Wings. Okay. So I'm going to give you the theme of colour and you're going to give me a um, the word association. Word. Okay? Perfect. Wild. Heart. Oh. Heart. Bright. No. Sun. Irresistible. Lauren. I love it! That was, that was so good! That's exactly what I was looking for! Yes. Lauren's his wife, by the way, everybody. Yes. Do you know what? We're you, back. You've got a Yes. We're Thanks back. for joining. Thanks for having us. Can't it, wait for colour. I'll see you there. <laughs> see you there. <laughs> channel now all the best from hillsong channel on demand be inspired by powerful preaching and teaching thank god we have the reinforcement of his word access beautiful praise and worship conference sessions albums original series documentaries and more this is incredible watch on your favorite device anytime anywhere hillsong channel now subscribe today